The youngest person ever to be diagnosed with type 2 diabetes has been revealed. She's a three-year-old girl from Texas. Now, she weighs five and a half stone, and doctors say that her excess weight is the main contributing factor to her diabetes diagnosis. We were so shocked about this when we heard it this morning, weren't we, Nadia? Yeah, but at the same time, I do think it is so difficult feeding your children. It isn't, we talk about it a lot on the yeah, programme, and do. the reason we do is because it is an ongoing situation. Situation. I mean, I, everyone knows I'm a mad foodie. I love my food. I love to cook. I cook a lot for my family. But I'm, I don't actually know what the exact right portion size is mm. for my child. We all know we're about, oh, if we're on a diet, we're 1,250, 1,500 calories. If we're not on a diet, well, 2,000, 200, something like that. But with our children, I, we all, none of us know. Yeah, actually. No, we didn't. Um, and so most of us, I think, will give a plate that sort of size for pasta to our children, mm. a cereal bowl about that sort of size. Yeah. And actually, that's completely wrong. It should be about half that size. Mm. So our portion control is really important with our kids, and I think that we need more information about well, do you, that. Don't you think that but, a lot of us think, well, you know, the portions might be big, but we're feeding them really healthy stuff. So what difference and, does it make? And, and I just think it's mistake. I think we're feeding too much to our kids. Okay. And I think, and I think, and then there is a lot of people that don't know about nutrition at all. Mm. And you know, I mean, I see every day at the shop down near me, the chicken shop down near, my, near me, every day. It's all the kids out there buying chicken and chips for lunch. Mm. And I just think the school should lock the gates and I think that the only way to teach people about nutrition is I think right from when they're a kid so if a kid is having at least one meal a day where they're looking at it and go oh I've only got two potatoes I've got some different colored veg and a, and a good small portion of meat that's what I should be eating mm. then in the future if the government just paid for that they wouldn't be paying out for diabetes mm. the, 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 the scary part of this, of this whole report though I mean I think that the majority of parents do not believe or have not realised till now that a child of three can be diabetic. We tend yeah. to associate diabetes with much older people. And I think that's a really strong message to take mm. out of this report. Because, but I do think that the responsibility doesn't lie in schools. I mean, part of it does lie in schools. I think it's got to lie with the parents. No, I know, but we always say that, Gloria, but, no, but what you if you've to. got a parent... You can't no, depend we're on the talking, school to no, do but it we're talking you. from a position where we, you know, where, where a, lot of, a lot of our audience, a lot of people here will know enough to feed their children well. But what about the child that comes from a home that's more chaotic, where well, they're yeah, not I mean, getting breakfast? I mean, you talk to teachers and say, the amount of children that come to school and haven't had breakfast, yeah. and then will have sweets I, or get a bag of But they do crisps. have a breakfast club in schools where no, it's necessary. No, but there's loads of people People that their mm. lives are so chaotic or they're in or they're in whatever kind Difficult of trouble that they're not feeling the yeah. public and that is where the government has the power to really make a difference by showing them if they're not getting but it taught about, at home what how about to parents, eat well. What about parents wanting to make a difference you know in the same way we have antenatal classes provided could we not have some sort of nutritional education provided to us at the time of pregnancy or at the time of just becoming a parent when you're you know visiting your medical professional I think I think education is the most important educating parents but educating what about, what children. What about the parents that don't want to be educated? What about it's the people not, we, that we will just say we to can't their live kids, like get that. a bag of chips on we, the way home? We, we cannot live like that. We cannot no. live saying, oh, well, what about them? Yeah, no, so, so let's not no, bother yes, doing can. it. No. Yes, you can, because no. those are the children that need the most help. The yeah, children no, that are not I'm getting so, anything at I'm, home I, I agree that teaches them about nutrition. We have the power to close the school gates and give them one good square meal a day. That's just been his campaign. I'm just, Come on, I'm just saying there are many things that can be done. I do actually agree with what you're saying, but I also believe that everyone needs to be educated. Everyone needs to but participate what about in the health. Doesn't want to be. It, well, well, isn't we interested. can't. Well, but yeah, okay. Well, but just because of that parent doesn't mean that we should not provide this service for 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 no, everyone no, but else. So, so, I think, so are you disagreeing with the idea important. of having a lunch think, at school? I, I said that already. I completely agree with your ideas, but I'm just saying that I, I feel that it needs to be much more widespread than just a, a lunch at school. That's not enough. Mm. We need to be educated in different ways. In the same way, we know not to smoke during pregnancy, not to drink during pregnancy. That is that is education that has been provided to us. Mm. Yeah, but and I but, but no, but because I want to make my point again because I think <laughs> that if people <laughs> aren't going to take that information, yeah. Yeah. then we have the, the child yeah. that doesn't get well, that support same, at home. Yeah. The place we can support them is in school. I, I hear what both, what both of you said. Essentially, I think you're both kind of agreeing yeah. with each other. <laughs> but I like yeah, a good <laughs>
the break. She was agreeing with <laughs> you, and you're still agreeing with her. Just because it's just, it's just. I we know. Can't, I agree. And she knows. We know. <laughs> on my ear, I'm presuming. No, they're, they're all, they've they've all gone for a lie down. <laughs> they really have. My God, oh, they've gone for a shot of coffee just to cope. Yeah. <laughs>